Shakespeare's Macbeth Raw! But before we go one step further, I need all of my players to the stage! Yes, Kumate, I'm going to expect to see a blood sport crossover with Shakespeare. Now, for those of you who have, uh, first of all, how many people have never been to a Shakespeare Raw performance before? So I do have to go this explanation. <laughs> Um, if you were lucky enough to get a program, because Jeremy was an irresponsible producer and did not print enough, <laughs> uh, if you got one, you'll take a look at the program, you will see character names, you will not see actor names. Why is that, Jeremy? I'm getting to it. <laughs> he says as if we don't do that gag every month. <laughs> the reason for that is, the actors do not know who they're going to be playing, but they are about to find out. Okay. As even, even the casting director is in disguise this month. <laughs> who wants to go first? <laughs> Jim Donaldson played Lady Macbeth on Monday. Aha, the porter! Oh. <laughs> David Kay will be playing... Which two? Which two? I am. Um, I like to play this. Yep. <laughs> Second chance. Come on, Nick. Come on. You played that part this week already, and they don't let people compete. And. Big Bad Yeah! Yeah! Right now. <laughs> Let's go to the bar. <laughs> and that's what they did. 
they went to the bar right around the corner from the globe, spent all night getting royally shit-faced, memorizing their lines, until the innkeep had to throw them out in the morning, and Will had to drag them back to the theater to repeat the whole process the next day. <laughs> so, what does, so what does that mean? That means that the very first people to hear William Shakespeare's words perform were not the royals, not the lords, not the higher ups, no. It was the random drunk ass gatherers that happened to be at the bottom. So tonight, we will be playing those actors, and you will be playing those gatherers. I want you guys to play your part just as well as they play theirs. Scratch that. I want you to play your part. Much better than the way I So what does that mean? That means if you see a character you like, I want you to cheer for that character. A character you hate, I want you to boo that character. And if you feel like yelling something out at our performers, go ahead. This is our fourth year with this show. We're better. <laughs> and we will not hesitate to clap back. <laughs> All right, so speaking of drinking, who is drinking tonight? I am! <laughs> and as with, as with this show and all of our other shows here at Shakespeare Hall, we have a drinking game incorporated into the show. Now, this play is considered by many to be cursed. To the extent that you're not even supposed to say the name. What name? The name of the play. So in order to counteract that, tonight, every time someone says Macbeth, I want you to drink. I don't care if they're talking about Macbeth, to Macbeth, Lady Macbeth. I'm glad. Thank you. It took Monday and Tuesday. That shit went right over their face. <laughs> It was like the fifth time I said it by the time they realized they should have been drinking the whole time. <laughs> yes. So yes, every time someone says Macbeth, yes. okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. and uh, along with our drinking, our drinking game, uh, we also have our trivia contest sponsored by our good friends at Clark Street Sausage Company. Yes. What will they win today? Two Hobbitoshin. Or a habanero sausage sandwich. All right. So for two hamantash or a habanero sausage sandwich, as I said, this play is considered to be cursed. For a for free food, who knows the origin and the reason behind the curse? Why is it considered cursed? It has nothing to do with the goat or the goat. It was a very good guess. It's the fourth year we've done this. I assume some of you would remember it by now. Go on with the show. Correct. When the play was first, first performed, there was a scene featuring the goddess Hecate, a goddess of witches and witchcraft. And when they first performed it, uh, the the royals got super pissed off, because this is a good Christian country, and you can't have a pagan goddess on a Christian stage. And so William Shakespeare, being the pinnacle of artistic integrity that he was, folded like a cheap suit and cut the scene. <laughs> however, however, it remains in the it remained in the first folio when it was published, so we know what that scene is like. However, in order to do that scene right, you need a 12-foot-tall, flaming, snarling, hideous witch goddess. And it doesn't advance the plot that much, so most people just say, screw it, we're cutting the scene too. Well, if there's one person you want to piss off, it's a witch. If there's a person you want to piss off more than a witch, it's a goddess. And if there's one person you really don't want to piss off, it's a goddess of goddamn witches. She's pissed that her scene keeps getting cut. So shit goes awry when the show is produced. We, however, have put that scene back in. Yes. So we're cool, right? <laughs> four, four years, we haven't had a major accident yet. Yes. <laughs> well, yes, you get your free whatever you like whenever you feel, feel inspired. Okay. Um, 
All right, so I covered that. All right, also, uh, photography. It is a very common thing that people like to do in this day and age, in this age of social media. Please take all the photos you like. <laughs> and please tag us in them, either on Facebook at Boozy Bard Productions or Instagram at Boozy Bard MKE. There was someone else who had at Boozy Bard, but they took it before me and they never got to post, so I don't even know why they had it. <laughs> I know. <laughs> But yeah, so if you're on Instagram at Boozy Bard, at Boozy Bard MKE, please tag us because you guys are way cheaper than a real photographer. <laughs> I mean, we love to experience interaction with our fans. <laughs> so, um, right, that covers that. Yeah, cover the drinking game. I'm getting to that. Um, upcoming shows. If you uh, take a look, uh, if, if you are receiving a flyer on the way in, we do have one off-season show uh, that was just announced literally days ago because we finally got the paperwork signed for it. We are teaming up with a local burlesque troupe called Dainty Rogues to produce a show that we call Shimmy and Shakespeare. It is a Shakespearean themed burlesque show. Yes, and burlesque and variety. So we've got some of us, we're going to be writing funny skits and singing songs along with ladies taking their clothes off. What's that? Yeah, there'll be some just taking the clothes off too. There's already a, there's already a 12 night Malvolio uh, routine in the works. Involving <laughs> Mike Mel's topics. I was getting to it. I was getting to it. Um, and then, as I said, this is the last regular show, regular show of our season. And next month we will be back in March with something. <laughs> Yes, we haven't officially announced this uh, next season yet. It's definitely not because I put it off and forgot to get it done for the night. <laughs> definitely not that. But no, we should have our season next uh, our next year's season announced within the next month or so. So be so follow us on Facebook, uh, Boozy Bar slash Boozy Bar to find out more about our show the next season. Maybe. But, um, alright, so, last thing before we get started. Yeah! This was our casting director. He did his job and he did his job well. Good job! Yes. Yeah. 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 Give it up for the casting director. Yeah. 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 So he's gonna do what the rest of us do when our job is done for the evening. Go hang out at the bar. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and you will now assume the role of cast shakedowners. <laughs> so, you go, to a, you go for a night out, you enjoy yourself, and at the end of the night you toss the bartender an extra couple of bucks if you had a good time, as well you should. Mm -hmm. If, however, you enjoy this show that you see tonight, and you feel like tossing us a couple extra bucks, it would certainly be appreciated. This is how the actors get paid. <laughs> so yes. For real? It, yes. <laughs> it is by and large a labor of love, but Love don't pay the rent. <laughs> so, so yes, if, if you enjoy what you like, if uh, you got a couple bucks to throw in there, God love you. If you don't, God love you all the same. That having been said, yeah, and I covered everything. Yep. Yep. And then, so uh, bar, are you guys ready? Yeah. Cast, are you ready? Yeah. Yeah. Most importantly, audience, are you ready? Yeah. to you, William Shakespeare's Macbeth!
upon the east. They are to meet with me. So they uh, doubtly redoubled stokes upon the foe, except they mean to bathe in reeking wounds or memorize another Golgotha. I, I, I cannot tell, uh, but I am high in fate. My ashes <laughs> cry for help. Oh. So will thy words become me as thy wounds. Oh. They smack of honor both. Oh. Go get insurgents. No, Who comes here? Go <laughs> to save the king. Thank you. <laughs> Whence comes thou, worthy lane? From five great kings. Oh, my himself, terrible numbers, assisted the most disloyal traitor, King Coddle, began a dismal conflict. No more that thane of Coddle shall see of our bosom interest. Go pronounce his present death, and with his former title, greet Macbeth. Drink! Drink! I'll see it done. What he had lost, noble Macbeth had won. Great. Bubbles 
as the water has, and these are all dead. Whither are they vanished? Continue. What seemed corporeal melted as practice of the wind? Were they at stake? <laughs> Your children shall be kings. <laughs> you shall be king. <laughs> and they of Gordor too. <laughs> what did that sound? To the self same tune and words. Who is here? Uh, king, I happily received my breath. The news of thy success, and when he reads thy personal venture in the rebels' fight, his wonders and praises to contend, which should be the name of his. And we are sent to give thee for our royal master's thanks, only to herald thee into his sight. And for his earnest of great honor, he bade me for him call thee Pain of Cotton, in which addition, hail, most worthy pain, for it is that. What? Can the devil speak true? Glamis, and Thane of Cora, the greatest behind it. Thanks to your pains. Do you not know that your children shall be kings? And those that gave me Thane of Cora to me promised no less than that. Tis strange, and oftentimes to win us to our harm, the instruments of darkness tell us truths. To win us with honest trifles, to betray us in deepest consequence. Cousins, a word, I pray. Two truths I hold. It's happy prologues to the swelling act of imperial theme. I, I thank you, gentlemen. <laughs> cannot be ill, cannot be good. If ill, why hath it given me earnest of success, commencing the truth? I am thank God. If good, why do I yield to that suggestion in this horrid image to often fix my hair and Make me see the heart knock at my ribs against the use of nature. Look how our partner's wrapped. If chance will have me healed, why? New horns from a conscience, like our strange garments, cleave not with their bulge, but with the aid of use. Come up, Ben. Time and the hour runs through the rough step. Worthy Macbeth, we stay upon your leisure. leisure. Give me your favor. My dull brain was wrought with things forgotten. Kind gentlemen, with your pains all registered here, every day I turn the leaf to read them. Let's to the gate. Think upon what hath chanced, and at one more time, the interim having waited, let us speak our free hearts to each other. Very gladly. Till then, no. Come, come, friend. Dad, uh, my liege, they are not going to come back, but I have spoke the one that saw him die, who did report that very frankly, he confessed his treason, implored your highness's pardon, and set forth a deep repentance. Uh, nothing in his life became him like the leaving. <laughs> there is no art to find the mind's construction in the face. He was a gentleman on whom I built an absolute trust. Oh, past tense. Oh, we just arrived! First time we've been here. Oh, well, you're here. You've come here earlier. The sin of my ingratitude, even now, weighs heavy on me. Only I have left to say, more as I do than all can pay. The service and loyalty I owe, in doing nothing to it pays itself. Welcome hither. I have begun to plant thee and will labor to make thee full of growth. <coughs> no vanquor, that hath no less deserved, nor must be known, no less to have done so. Let me enfold thee and hold thee to my heart. There, if I grow, the harvest is your own. Sons, kinsmen, thanes, and those of you whose places are the nearest, know that we will establish our estate upon our eldest, Malcolm. What? <laughs> <laughs> Hereafter name the Prince of Cumberland, which honor must not be unaccompanied and invested only, but signs of nobleness like stars shall sign on all that he deserves, from hence to Inverness, and bind us further to The rest 
is labor which is not used for you. I'll be myself the harbinger and make joyful the hearing of my wife with your reproach. So humbly take my leave. My worthy father. The Prince of Cumberland? That is a step on which I must fall down or else overleap, for in a way it lies. Stars. Hide your fires, let not light see my black and deep desires. The eye wink at the hand. Let that be, as the eye fears when it is done to see.
course, to Matthias, he doesn't have a purpose to be his purveyor, but he rides well. Fair and noble hostess, we are your guests tonight. Your servants, Edwin. Give me your hand and conduct me, my host. We love him highly and shall continue our graces towards him. By your leave, hostess. <laughs> If it were done, if the is done, then for well and more than quickly, if the assassination could trouble of the consequence and patch with his Circe success, but by this blow might be the be all and the end all here. But here upon this bank and shoal of time will jump life to come. But in these cases, we still have judgment here that we but teach bloody instruction which being taught return to plague the inventor. This even-handed judgment, justice commends the ingredients of our poison chalice to our own lips. He's here in double trust. First I am his kinsman and his subject, strong both against the deed then as his host. What's your point? Who should against this murderer shut the door? <laughs> Not bear the night myself. I have no spur to pick. The size of my intent, that's my fucking point. <laughs> but only bold and ambition. <laughs> Overleaps itself, and then falls to the other. Come now, what news? <laughs> he is almost stopped. Why have you left the chamber? Have he asked for me? Know you not? He has. Right, we will <laughs> proceed no further with this business. He hath honored me of late, and I have brought golden opinions from all sorts of people, which <laughs> would be worn now when the newest gloss not cast aside so soon. Was the hope drunk whereupon you dressed yourself? <laughs> Have you slept since? And wakes it now to look so green and pale at what it did so free? From this time, such I have thy love. Art thou afeard to be the same in thine own act and barrel valor as thou art in desire? Wouldst thou have? That which thou esteemed the ornament of life, and live a coward in thine own esteem. Yeah. Let it, I dare not wait upon I would, <coughs> like the poor cat in the attic. I dare do all that may become a man. Who dares do more is none. What beast was that that made you break this enterprise for me? When you just do it, then you were a man. And to be more than that you were, you would be so much more than man. Nor time nor place did then adhere, and yet you could make both. They have made themselves, and that their fitness now does unmake you. I have given some, and know how tender to love the babe that makes me. I would, while it was smiling, in my face had plucked my nipple from his boneless gums and dashed his brains out. Oh, had I so sworn as you have done to this? Yes. Yes. I have yes. And if we should fail? We fail. But screw your stern courage to the sticking place, and we will not fail. When Duncan is asleep, where to the rather shall his days hard tree? Soundly invite him. His two chamberlains will I, with wine and wassail, so convince that memory, the warder of the brain, shall be of healing, and the receipt of reason a limbic only. When in swinish sleep their drenched natures lies in a death, what can you and I perform upon the unguarded governor? What not put upon his spongy officers? Who shall bear the guilt of our great, great quell? Bring forth men, children, only. For thy
thy undaunted metal should compose nothing but fans, will it not be received when we have marked with blood those sleepy two of this chamber and used their very daggers they have done? Who dares receive it other as we shall make our grief and clamor roll upon his death? And so, bend up, each corporal agent to this terrible feat. Away, and mock the time with bearer show. False face must hide the false heart of love. No. Knew I married you for a reason. <laughs> some words upon that business, if you would grant the time. At your kindest pleasure. If you shall cleave to my consent, when tis, it shall make honor for you. So I lose none in seeking to augment it, but still keep my bosom franchised and allegiance clear. I shall be counseled. Could propose the one. Thanks, sir. The like to you. No. <laughs> Is this the dagger I see before me? The handle toward my hand? Come, let me clutch thee. I have thee not. Yet I still see thee. Art thou not fatal vision sensible to feeling as to sight? Art thou not but a dagger of the mind of false creation proceeding from the heart oppressed brain? I see thee yet, and horn as palpable as swift quicks now I draw. Thou marshalest me the way that I was going, and such an instrument I was to use. Mine eyes are made the fools of the other senses, or else with all the rest, I see thee still, and on thy blade and dungeon gouts of blood, which was not so before. There is no such thing. It is the bloody business which informs thus to my eyes, thou sure and firm set earth. Hear not my steps, which way they walk, for fear thy very stones prate of my whereabout, and take the present horror from the time which now suits with it, whilst I threat he lives. Words to the heat of deeds true cool breath gives. Ding! 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 I go, and it is done. The bell invites me. Hear it not, don't be. Or is it now that summons thee to heaven or to hell? That which hath made them drunk hath made me bold. What hath quenched them hath given me fire. Hark, peace. It was the owl that shrieked, the fatal bellman which gives the sterns good night. My husband. I have the d done the deed, tits out here a noise. I heard the owl scream and the crickets cry. When? <laughs> as, as I descended? I. <laughs> Pardon. Who lies in the second chamber? Malcolm. Oh, this is a sorry sight. <laughs> A foolish thought to say a sorry sight. There's one did laugh in his sleep, and one cried murder, and then they, they didn't wake each other. I, I stood there, I heard them, but they did, they did say their prayers and address them again to sleep. There are two 
lodge together. And one cried, God bless us, amen, and the other, as they had seen me with hangman's hands listening their fear, I could not say amen. And they did say, God bless us. Consider it not so deeply. But wherefore could I not pronounce amen? I had most need of blessing, and a man stuck in my throat! These deeds must not be thought after these ways, so it will make us mad! Methought I heard a voice say, Sleep no more, Macbeth thus murder, sleep! <laughs> the innocent sleep, sleep that knits the rebel sleep of care, the death of each day's life, sore labors, bad, bulb of hurt minds, great nature's second course, chief nurser of life's feast, still it crying, Sleep no more, tall house! Glamis have murdered sleep, therefore Connor shall sleep no more. Macbeth shall sleep no more. Change. Who was it that thus cried? Why were they vain? <coughs> you do unbend your noble strength to think so great and sickly of things. Go, get some water and wash this filthy witness from your hands. <coughs> Why did you bring these daggers from the place? Oh, no. <laughs> I will go no more. I am afraid to think what I have done. To look on again, I dare not. In form of purpose, give me the daggers. The sleeping and the dead are but pictures. This is the eye of childhood that fears a painted devil. If he do bleed, I'll gild the faces of the grooms withal, for it, it must seem their guilt. And what is that knocking? How is it with me when every noise of all things? Not good, apparently. Yeah! No! <laughs> what, what hands are here? They, they pluck out my own eyes with all great Neptune's ocean, wash this blood clean from my hand. No, no. This my hand will rather the multitudinous seas in Cardin make green. In Cardin? What's the word? In Cardin. In Cardin. Thank you. In Cardin. Making the green one red. My hands are of your color, but I shame to wear a heart so white. Oh. I hear a knocking at the south entry. Retire we to our chamber. A little water clears us of this deed. How easy it is then. Get out of your nightgown, lest occasion call us and show us to be watchers. Be not lost so poorly in your thoughts. To, to, to know my deed, but best not know myself. Wait, don't get with my knocking! Oh, 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 oh. I would so good! Oh, oh, this is my favorite fucking part! This is where I come in! <laughs> He should have all turned in the key. Knock, knock, knock. Who is there in the name of Beelzebub? <clears throat> Here's a farmer that hanged himself on the expectation of plenty. Come in time! And napkins and old boats, you hear you'll sweat for it. Knock, knock, knock. Who is <laughs> Faith, here's an equivocator <laughs> that could swear in both the scales against either scale. You committed treason enough for God's sake. You could not equivocate her. Oh, come in, equivocator. For God's sake, no! <laughs> In some of all professions that go the primrose way to the everlasting bonfire. Fuck you, I'm drinking! Sir, 
We were rousing till the second cock, and drink, sir, is a great provoker of three things. Oh, yes. What three things does drink especially provoke? Mary, sir, uh, luxury, <laughs> nose painting. <laughs> oh, no, sorry, nose painting, sleep, and urine. <laughs> It provokes and unprovokes. <laughs> it, uh, it, uh, provokes the desire, but, um, uh, takes away from the performance. <laughs> Therefore, much drink may be said to be an equivocator with lechery. Huh? <laughs> it makes him and it mars him. It sets him on. Uh, takes him off. <laughs> it persuades him. And it disheartens him. Uh, makes him stand to and not stand to. <laughs> In conclusion, equivocates him in a sleep and giving him the lie leaves him. Is thy master story? Oh, 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 oh. Ahead. The 
fountain of your blood is stopped. The very source of it is stopped. I'm not going to the What the fuck's going on? <laughs> your royal father's murdered. <gasps> oh. oh. My womb. Those of his chamber, as it seemed, had dug their hands and faces were bandaged with blood. So <laughs> Unlike we found upon their pillow, they stared and were dis distracted. No man's life was to be trusted with them. Oh, yet I do repent me of my fury that I did kill them. Wait, oh, uh, my God. God. <laughs> Wait, who can be Wherefore did you so? Who can be wise, amazed, temperate, and furious, loyal and neutral in a moment? No man. The expedition of my violent love outrun the pause of reason. Wait, here, here, lay Duncan. His silver skin laced with his golden blood, and his gashed staff looked like a breach in nature for ruined place collections. And there, there are the murderers. Steeped in the colors of their trades, their daggers unmannerly breached with gore. Who could refrain? <laughs> and then that heart curves to make those known. Help me! Oh! Oh! Help to the lady! Oh, oh what is that sweet lady who has never harmed a bee? <laughs> And when we have our naked frailties hid that suffer an exposure, let us meet and question this most <laughs> <bloody person. laughs> To know it further. Fears and scruples shake us. In the great hand of God I stand and dance against the undivulged pretense I fight of treasonous malice. Let us briefly for <laughs> And meet in the hall together. Well, oh, okay, exactly. But then I'm not gonna die. <laughs> father of many kings, if there come truth from them, as upon thee, Macbeth, their spirit is shy, why, by the verities on thee make good, may they not be my oracles as well, and set me up in hope, but hush no more. Here's our chief guest. If he had been forgotten, if it had been a gap in our great peace, then all things are the common. Tonight, we hold a solemn supper, sir, and I'll request your presence. Hmm? Let your highness command upon me, to the which my duties are the most solemn <laughs> 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 for evermore. 
right you this afternoon? I am my good lord. Is it far you ride? As far, my lord, as will fill up the time. Fail not our feast. My lord, I will not. Hide your horse. I'll do. Till you return at night. I, my good lord, our time will call upon us. And I wish your horses swift and sure of foot, and so I do commend you to their backs. Farewell. Cheers, mate. <laughs> Sirrah, a word with you. <laughs> Ten, no. <laughs> <laughs> I know it's been pleasure. Ah, they are, my lord, without the palace gate. Well, then bring them before us. <laughs> <laughs> Don't need to be a fucking dickhead in this. <laughs>
Who did strike out the light? There's but one down, the sun is fled. I have lost the best half of my affair. I'll away and I'll say how much is done. That one is done. <laughs> Get his revenge? Will the crap be able to hang on to the crown? Yep. Will the porter ever sober up? <laughs> Find out in Act Two of William Shakespeare's Macbeth. And I now hand it over to for a sampling from Mr. So baseball season is winding down, we're in the middle of the playoffs. I have this chat book called Fred Merkel Makes a Name for Himself. How many of you are familiar with Merkel's Boner? It doesn't refer to anything you might think. It refers to a boner play he made during the World Series back in 1909. So, uh, I'm going to read a poem from that, then I'm going to read uh, a couple pieces from Murdoch 15. Murdoch was the magazine that I put out for uh, 10 years, and then I started Murdoch Press out of Murdoch Magazine. And then I might close with one more poem. So to begin, Fred Merkel makes a name for himself. These are poems by Jonathan Lore. There's baseball here, and something useful. Yellow hearts fall into yellow diamond listing that secret mind set free. Whitman will die someday, just like his children pieced less from notebooks than reversals. The bleeding through of my printing press shows an engagement of families in the present wrapped in a shoebox of Polaroids. No baseball cards. I've never met the subjects. These are my memories here. Free agents and trades over the years starting fresh in a different jersey. Fred was small town. Fred was bonehead. But he knew the ropes. You don't make money from the game. You get it from fame. This is how the game works. Be good, hold stuff, get paid. The last two are easy. You look good on film, sponsorship. Fred's brother was a priest, sponsored by God. He was good. He helped God, and you paid him. Fred played ball, good enough for his own cards, running from kids' spokes down the street. Held a bottle of soda. Whatever. He got paid. You pretend to like poetry because Jack Spikes are like poetry, and knew how to hold it. I only use his brand of poetry. You'll find us getting thoroughly antiquated after the big game. It comes near to being the ideal brain slash social stimulant signaling the arrival of a poet whose songs are equal to America and greatness as you can find. Want to make it big like me and Walt Whitman? Use this brand of poetry. <laughs> somebody who made it good twice because their name is Howie Good. <laughs> How I lost 117 pounds. I wore thinner pinstripes. <laughs> I took to avoiding weighty moral issues. I shed layers of guilt by giving up excess introspection. <laughs> I eliminated words that ended in E-A-T. Neat, <laughs> buckwheat, ovaries, etc. From my vocabulary, I stopped filling my pocket with the anti-crazy pills I only rarely needed. <laughs> I exposed myself to rough treatment that scraped inches off my ego. I limited my intake of salty ironies to water at most two a week. <laughs> and when all that wasn't enough, I sweated far into the night, dreaming of a tree on fire. Contingencies. The devil got my woman last night. I had no idea Shakespeare's English sounded like that. 
<laughs> like Mongolian throat singing. <laughs> if I hadn't seen the tourists getting off the bus, I may have decided to become someone else. A merch prince or big Joe McKennedy. Sadness is not uncommon, especially when compared to a concerto of the left hand. Around mid-morning, a row of sunny houses began arguing with a seemingly random passerby. The man even announced the start of something new, though he admitted he didn't know what. Only a slovenly universe would ever hurt this dog. All right, and uh, to close, <laughs> very quickly before I close this, uh, I'm doing a, I, I'm a poet by uh, practice, I guess, but I'm in a band called the November Criminals. If you don't know what Polka Hip Hop sounds like, you got a chance to find out. On October 21st, I've got flyers back there for something called the Milwaukee Polka Riot. All the bands are polka fusion. So there's a polka hip hop band and a polka metal band. There's a, a punk polka band. Um, it's all happening at Kachansies. You can find out more information at MilwaukeePokerRiot.com. There are flyers on my table. This is the last poem I shall read when I get off stage. I get Brian out here to sing you a wonderful song. James Bond and Charles Bukowski. I'm reading this because I'm thinking of switching to Sean Connery for the second act. <laughs> James Bond and Charles Bukowski. After Jamaica leaves our dreams, and once the starry future is blotted out, and the muses take off their masks, only then do we settle for a disgruntled postman sort of life. Thanks, guys. one in a Scottish accent. Woo! Yeah! We're gonna see how that goes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. If you're having curse problems, I can battle you so I got 99 drums, but a witch ain't one. <laughs> Oh, 
well. If you much know him, you shall offend him and extend his passion. Be and regard him not. <laughs> Are you a man? I and a bold one at that. A bold one, which might have <laughs> dare look on that, which might have pulled the devil. <laughs> oh, Papa, stop. This is the very painting of your fear. This is the air drawn dagger which you said led you to Duncan. These flaws and stark imposters to true fear would well become a woman's story at a winter's fire, authorized by her grandmother. <laughs> Shame itself! <laughs> Why do you make such faces? When all's done, you look but upon a stool. Pretty, see here, behold, look, look, look! How say you? Why? 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 What care I? What care I if thou canst not? Speak to! <laughs> <laughs> what? What? Quite a man's folly? If I stand here, I... I... My worthy lord, your noble friend, Blackie. <laughs> <laughs> I do forget. I do not use it me. My most worthy friends, I... I have a strange infirmity, which is nothing to those who know me. Come, love and help to all. Then I'll, oh thank God, then I'll sit down. <laughs> oh yeah, I'll sit down. Give me some wine. Whoop, whoop, fitful. I drink to the general joy of the table and to our dear friend, Banquo, whom we miss. He were here. <laughs> to all. And to him. He, we thirst. And to all, to all. Our duties and the pledge. Our duties and the pledge. <laughs> Look out behind you! <laughs> Blood. 
feet then so far I should wait no more. You lack the season of all natures. Sleep. We are yet young. Sits in a foggy cloud and stay 
for me. Yet, 
make assurance double sure, and take a bond of faith thou shalt not live, that I may tell pale hearted fear and lies to sleep in spite of the A word more. <laughs> I am metal proud and take no care Who chafes, who frets, where their conspirators are Macbeth shall never Drink. be vanquished Until great Burnham went To hide down so the hill shall come against you <laughs> Ghosted! <laughs> that will never be! Who can have crossed the forest? And bid thee unfix his earthbound root. Sweet omens. High place Macbeth shall live. Release of nature. Pay his breath to time and mortal custom. Yet my heart throbs to know one more thing. Tell me, if thou art, can tell so much. Thou. A banquet that she will reign in the sea. Seek to know no more. I will be satisfied. Did I need this, and I, an eternal curse shall fall upon you? Show, show, show. <laughs> show his eyes and gleam his heart. Come, Come on, my shadows, so depart. <laughs>
What's that patient's name? He had none. His flight was madness when our actions do not, our fears do make us traitors. We don't know. Whether it was his wisdom or his fears. Wisdom? To leave his wife, leave his babes, his mansion, <coughs> and his titles in a place from whence he himself does fly. He loves us not. Fuck him in his drink. You're a kid. <laughs> you want the natural touch. For the no, the wall is the glass. For even the poor man, the most diminutive of birds, will fight. All is the fear and nothing is love. If the wren's young ones in her nest do Get surprised by the owls, she will abat them. As little as wisdom where the light so runs against all the reason. Where the fuck is my life? My dearest cousin, I pray you, school yourself with your husband. He is noble, wise, judicious, and best knows the fits of the season. I dare not speak much further. But cruel are the times. We are traitors. We do not know ourselves on that. But we all rumor from what we fear that know not what we fear, but float upon wild, violent sea. Each way I move, I take my leave of you. Shall not be long before I be here again. Things at worst will cease, and else climb upward to what they may be before. I pray, cousin, blessing be upon you. Father he was, but now he is fatherless. I am so much a fool. Should I stay longer, I will disgrace and your discomfort. I take my leave at once. Oh, shit! Sarah, <laughs> <laughs> your father's dead, and what will you do now? How are you going to live? As birds do, mother. <laughs> What with worms and flies? With what I get, I mean, and so be dead. Poor bird. My father's not dead, for all you're saying. Yeah, he is dead. What will look thou do for a father? Now, how will you do for a husband? Why, Y'all doubt me. I can buy 20 at market. <laughs> Buy them to sell again. <laughs> <laughs> Thou speakest with all thy wit, and yet in fed with wit enough for thee. Now, uh, was my father a traitor, mother? Oh, that he was. What is a traitor? Why, one that swears and lies. And we all are traitors to do so. Everyone that does so is a traitor and must be hanged. And must they all be hanged and swear? And lie. Everyone? Who must hang them? Why, the honest men, obviously. Then the liars and swearers are fools. For well, there are liars and swearers enow to be the honest man and hang up them. Poor Rattler, how they talk. <laughs> you nearly if you do not take a homely man's advice be not found here hence with your little ones to fright you thus methinks I am too savage to do worse to you were fell cruelty which is too nigh to your person heaven preserve you I dare abide no longer I'm wait, fucking off wait wait wait, 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 wait. Oh, come on. 
down to dangerous folly. Talk while you're moving. <laughs> He's a traitor. No, thou lies, thou slain, Eric. Spill it. Uh, yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, what? What? You <laughs> egg the little shit? <laughs> This 
noble passion, child of integrity, as from my soul wipes the black scruples, reconcile my thoughts to wipe thy good truth and honor. Devilish Macbeth, by many of these trains, have sought to win me into his power, and modest wisdom plucks me from over credulous haste. But I am yet unknown to woman, Good. never was forsworn, Good. scarcely have coveted, what, it's still a choice, no. <laughs> <laughs> scarcely have coveted what was my own, Good. and no time broke my faith, Good. would not betray the devil to his own fellow and delight no less in true delight. Mama's boy. Such a welcome and unwelcome things at once. It's hard to reconcile. I know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, sounds of all the words in. Well, first they tried to separate from England, and then England did a Brexit. <laughs> Each minute seems new. That's my house, my wife. Yeah. Hey. Well, uh, and all my children. Uh, Ill too. <laughs> the tyrant has not battered at their peace. No. They were well at peace when I left them. <laughs> but uh, not a nigger of the speech. I have words. I would be all right out of the desert where hearing should not lash them. What concern they Name part pertains to you alone. So. If, if it be mine, keep it not from me. Quickly, let me have it. <laughs> Go on. Let not ears despise my tongue for which shall possess them with the heaviest sound that ever they yet heard. I doubt it. Your castle is surprised. <laughs> what? Your wife and babes savagely slaughtered. Wait, what? Oh, 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 oh. To relate the manner where on the query of these murdered deer. Wait, they slaughtered my deer? To add the death of you. I warned oh. them. <laughs> Well, wife, children, servants, pretty much everybody. Did they get the whole <laughs> <laughs> I've said enough. <laughs> 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 Be comforted. Let's make medicines of our great revenge to cure this deadly grief. He has no spells empty. All my pretty ones you take. I oh, hell, right, all. What, all my pretty chickens and their staff in one fell swoop? Disputed like a man! I shall do so! <laughs> Ready. 
Our lack is nothing but our leave. Make bad, drink, 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 for that taking! Chambers will be safe. What wood is a 
this peon before us. Lord of Burma, let every soldier hew him a bow and bear it before him. There shall we shadow the numbers of our host and make discovery in air and report to us. It shall be done. Let our trust sectors attend the true event. Go and we put on industrious soldiership. The time approaches. That with due decision make us know what we shall say and what we owe. Not speculative, they're unsure hope for late. But certain issue strokes must at our fit. Toward what advance the war? According to our order. Very well. 
Do we but find the tyrant power tonight? Let us be beaten if we cannot fight.
pressure because we're here with us. Slavo score, and yet my knees I see so great today is this cheap one. Macduff is missing. Macduff, man. <laughs> Thank you. Good night. Good night.